channel i'm sure a lot of you i'm sure everyone knows um what's going on right now and i also want to say like just because i'm smiling doesn't mean i'm like dealing with the situation well anyway today it's 23rd of march it's my birthday and i'm in quarantine um i'm not ill or anything um i'm just doing what is best following the rules like I've never done before um additionally I just had surgery last week um right when all the stuff with the coronavirus was going on my body was like appendicitis <laughs> please <laughs> let me let me just let me get started today I'm going it's my birthday I'm gonna go for a little walk because it's my birthday so Sunday I've been noticing pains for a while in my right side um, but because I was on my period I kind of like brushed it off like oh it's probably just period pain and then um, on Sunday it was like I didn't sleep at all because the pain was just so bad. First of all we called and I was on the phone like in the queue for about half an hour and I hanged up because I started to feel so guilty because I just felt like with what's going on right now I don't want to waste anyone's time like what if this is just period pain like blah 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 hanged up and my mum was like um because I'm, I'm living with my mum at the moment and she was like you need to not do that and you need to call them again <laughs> so um was on the phone for about an hour and 15 minutes in the queue on 111 that was on sunday um before like before anything shut before <laughs> any schools closed um and i felt like a few times i was going to pass out from the pain so that's why they said they wanted to bring an ambulance and i was like no i don't want to waste like any people's time i can walk and per like i can i can get to the hospital by my like with my mum like absolutely no problem um so yeah we arrived to the hospital nearest us there was someone with a surgical mask um and um taking people's temperature and there was a security guard who was turning people away that hadn't called 111 um so it was like only appointments only basically um to ensure people's like i guess safety um and got seen quite quickly and they rec told me to go to another hospital um they booked me in for a sonogram on monday because the pain wasn't that bad and it was on sunday that it was like starting to go the pain was starting to like not be that bad anymore so they were like go home rest if it gets worse come back into the hospital if not come here first thing at eight in the morning and the hospital is quite far away from us i'm very lucky that my mum was able to take the day off work and came with me had the sonogram she was like oh i just heard her make a noise she was like yeah it's definitely your appendix um and she said it had gotten really thick and she said that because I had loads of room around my appendix, which is apparently unusual because people can have it in lots of different places, she said. Um, because mine has loads of space around it, apparently the pain, I wasn't in as much pain. That's why I wasn't in as much pain as like most people's. So who would have thought it got tons of space inside me? <laughs> they were like, more blood tests had to write for like the actual results of the sonogram other doctors looked at it this was about midday now that i was just waiting to see what was going to happen um and then they were like yep but decided just gonna have surgery can't have um any guests because of coronavirus so gotta say bye to family and book you in for a surgery and um here's <laughs> they gave me like um like a wristband a bed um said bye to my mom like had like an overwhelming sense of like panic like <gasps> trying to be brave in that moment as i said bye to my mom because i didn't want her to worry i was like just be brave be brave be brave be brave 
I give her a hug. She gave me my overnight bag because I've learned before because I stayed overnight in the hospital before when I was at uni. I was wildly unprepared. So every time I go to hospital now, I always tell everyone to bring an overnight bag just in case. So I had my PJs, I had Mr. Whale, I had my Kindle, I had my phone charger. Um, I've got like the smallest brush in the world to do my eyebrows because I can't find my other one at the moment. Thank God there was Wi-Fi at the hospital because I was, I was there all day just left alone with my thoughts. So um, I downloaded, um, is it Outstanding or something? Like a book about trees that I've been dying to read that Lena Norms has recommended. Um, I also just posted tons on Instagram because I was bored and it was just so nice to hear other people's um, stories about surgeries or in having their own append appendix removed because I, I was starting to get really nervous when, um, when I was like, baby, hold it in, hold it in. Like, oh, I just didn't, didn't want to have a panic attack. So thank God I had the Wi-Fi to talk to people and actually hear like, oh, it's actually so common. And so many people telling me that like, yeah, I know it's scary, but you can totally do it. It just made me feel, made, made me feel so at ease because it wasn't something that was so unlike familiar to me because I had been like seeing so much stuff on the internet about people's surgeries and people's scars and stuff so oh, sorry um so thank you I really don't like hospitals <laughs> they have an enormous sense of anxiety f for me and fear for me um so listening to so many people's stories I guess for the last like year or more really gave me strength so much strength then they carried the bed like through the doors like a film and that's the moment when I was like okay if I'm gonna cry I'm probably gonna cry now um and we were in the lift I think I made a joke about like oh I've never been laying down in a lift before like it feels weird um made me laugh in that moment they they were all really all everyone was all really nice like the doctors really made me feel so at ease as well as all the nurses and all the staff at the hospital then they put on this like big mask um and then the anesthetic was it, is it anesthetic Start, started to come through and i just remember that and then she said um open your eyes if you can feel if you can and I remember thinking like I want to make I don't want there to be any possibility of making me waking up during this operation so I open my eyes like as wide as I could to, to show that I was like I'm still here um and that's the last thing I remember just like two people over my like face um looking down on me with like surgical masks it's came out the operation everything's fine um I was really afraid to move as soon as I came out um but yeah I was in the room in a recovery room um with two other people who are my like similar age to me and we just like spent the day chatting and I'm um, in between sleeping and napping and it was actually so nice like it was the best like experience I could have ever hoped for for being in a hospital or having a surgery like it really there were lots of smiles and giggles and um like the there were some like elderly women who were so sweet as well and I just went into it like I am so fucking <laughs> lucky to feel a pain go to hospital as a freelance self independent self employed own my own business um person and get care like get it sorted get my appendix removed and not have to worry about like oh, i can't afford it or oh if i do that then i won't be able to afford this and it's just honestly i i was just lucky that i just feel so lucky to be able to access what we can here in this country ah! oh nearly spilled my water all over me especially with all this what's going on i don't want to say the c word but it is um 
I just feel so incredibly grateful to be able to get that sorted like and I read about the appendix like if I had a, <laughs> I've gone to hospital there's a chance that your appendix could explode and then you have to have open surgery <laughs> so wait I should probably show you my scars this is my belly button it's one of my side this is where my <laughs> appendix pain was so um I don't understand it but hey hell I'm not a doctor so I've got uh, also one patch lower, but no one needs to see that. <laughs> They're really small incisions. The one on my belly button is like, it's probably about that long. And it's probably the worst one in terms of like, um, it's gonna take a while to heal. The other two are, are basically, they look like paper cuts now. It's wild that that, like the universe has made me, <laughs> has made that happen for me. like. I've never had surgery in my life. I've only ever stayed in hospital one time for anxiety because um, I had a lot of diarrhea when I was at uni. I just feel very, very lucky and grateful to the NHS. The situation at the moment is um, Obviously, I'm very lucky because my business is working from home. I bounce between feeling um, like this is a really exciting opportunity to get creative, to, you know, people who are, are churning the content out online that is really fun or learning or exciting. Um, I'm getting more calls than ever before. <laughs> um, and excited to spend more time with myself and then I bounce between you know positive feelings and then like a numbness which I know is just my body trying to cover up like how worried and um how, un how unusual what is going on is and it's definitely my body's trying to protect me from feeling anxious um and my heart is completely broken for so many people who've lost their jobs and they don't know how they're going to pay for their rent or feed their kids and yeah it's kind of like extreme emotions on both sides and what's really helping me through right now is the amount of amazing <laughs> um jokes and memes about the current situation like i keep laughing like there's nothing better than being able to laugh at something that's shit that is happening um so i think that's my look for today i didn't even talk through any of what i was using oh i also also i made a cake this morning i made a cake a lemon cake um and the plan is to ice that uh, but we only have brown sugar, so the icing might be like a little bit brown. I made my birthday cake. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to also do a live tonight with some of my friends. And um, just have a really nice day inside. Oh, I need some lip balm. Always dry. My lip balm. This is the first time I'm leaving the house since... What's it been a week? Do you remember we watched the Hunger Games? Yeah. And there was a big field. I'm gonna scare you. So this reminds me of Hunger Games. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe that's too much.